Across the country, more than 2.5 million vehicles have serious unrepaired safety recalls. Yeah, the risks are severe. Some vehicles can catch fire, others lose control on the road. All of them have the potential to injure or kill people. And those very cars can be sold to you without the recall being fixed if you buy it used. Yeah, it's a loophole some attorneys say needs to close. Investigative reporter Kristen Crowley shows us why the government isn't doing anything about it and how you can make sure you're protected. The pictures and videos are jaw dropping. Oh my God. Oh. Cars spontaneously catching fire. Ow airbags shooting shrapnel into people's faces. Those are just some examples of what can happen when a safety recall goes unrepaired. Anytime you go to turn, it's like a pulling kind of feeling. Jatonia Garcia experienced the danger firsthand. I saw this car and I said, that looks like a nice car on the lot. Jatonia says she wanted a used car to save money. On the outside, this Cadillac SRX looked like the perfect vehicle to her. But on the inside was a problem she had no idea existed. I felt the car do a little something. I kept telling my boyfriend, like, something, you didn't feel that? Something's weird with the tires. It was like sway across the road. Then one day while driving through Texas, that pulling nearly led to catastrophe. I went to turn the vehicle. It kind of like did the shaking swivel on me uh, stuff. And then we hit compact. That's all I really remember as far as the accident goes. They could have killed the person and as well as myself. At first, Jatonia said she was relieved the crash wasn't serious, but that relief was short-lived. And she said it turned to anger when she found out her SUV was part of a recall. And not just any recall, a serious safety recall. So serious, it comes with an urgent warning not to drive it. A loose tow link could cause the vehicle to sway, risking a crash. What's worse, Jatonia says, is she bought the car from the used dealership in January of 2022. That urgent do not drive recall was announced in June of 2021. I would have never bought it. I wouldn't have even looked twice at it. If Jatonia had bought the car new, federal law would have prevented the dealership from selling it with an unrepaired safety recall but there's no federal law banning that sale for used cars. Across the country, dealers are selling cars with unperformed, federally required safety recalls, used cars. It's, it's being done across the country, all, all over the place. Bernard Brown is a consumer protection attorney and a staunch critic of what he says is a lack of laws prohibiting the sale of used cars with federal safety recalls. It seems odd that there is this requirement for new cars, but not for used cars. I agree with you. It's, well, it's not just odd, it's really distressing. Are there people who are buying these vehicles with open federal safety recalls that are dying because of it? Yes. While the federal government keeps track of deaths tied to recalls, like the 19 fatalities with Takata airbags, it does not track whether the car was purchased new or used. But Brown says with millions of problem cars out there, consumers are bound to buy them used and get injured or killed. Would a federal law on this issue save lives? Unquestionably. But that's easier said than done. Some congressional lawmakers have proposed such a law, one as recently as 2021. It stalled in committee. Groups like the National Automobile Dealers Association oppose such legislation. We wanted to interview them about their stance, but they declined. The group instead pointed us to their website, which states a federal law would hurt consumers because it would devalue their trade-ins and cripple the used vehicle market. It argues there would be little impact on safety. Brown says that stance infuriates him. Are you really saying your dealers shouldn't, should have a car and not fix a safety recall before they sell it? Try that one on me again. Say it slow, say it slowly so everybody can follow you. Safety recall, oh no, we don't need to fix that. We wanted to find out just how common is it for used cars to be for sale with these open safety recalls. So here's an example. This is a website that lists cars for sale across the country. 
most list the vehicle's VIN number. I can just take that number and plug it into the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration's website to see if there are any unrepaired recalls. On this page alone of 20 vehicles, six of them, that's 30%, had open safety recalls, including this recall, warning of an urgent fire risk. We even found this example of a vehicle with a serious safety recall already sold. Even though there is no federal law, people can sue used car dealerships if they're injured or if someone's killed as a result of the unrepaired recall. But Brown says it's uncommon. People buying used cars don't have lots of money to do these battles. I would know about them if there were suits about this. There are practically none. So people can bring suits, they just don't. That's right. The wreck was hit right here. Jatonia still hopes for accountability, and she is suing. The recall on her vehicle and damage from the crash are fixed, but her faith she's driving a car that's safe is broken. It should be mandatory, and if not, I think they should have some type of consequences because otherwise the consequences uh, falls on the buyer. As Kristen just mentioned, you can be your own investigator and check whether your vehicle has any unrepaired recalls. Just head to nitsa.gov vehicle. You just need the VIN or vehicle identification number.